I'm here to show you another GCSE required practical, this time for physics, and it's all about infrared absorption and emission. So what I have here is a Leslie cube. It's just a metal cube which we're going to put hot water in from a kettle. As you can see, we have a matte black surface on one side and we just have a normal shiny surface on the other sides. We're going to see which of these emits the most infrared radiation. I have my freshly boiled kettle. I'm just going to pop the water in and the more the better. We're going to pop the cap on so we're reducing the amount of heat lost to convection. The temperature of the water in the cube is going to go down over time so we want to reduce the amount of heat lost as much as possible. You might want to think about how heat is lost to conduction into the table as well. You might want a heat proof mat. What I have here is an infrared thermometer. Now this detects infrared radiation coming off a surface. Now in order to make it a fair test, you want to make sure that the thermometer is the same distance away from the surface at the same angle in both cases. So I'm going to use a distance of 10 centimeters. Measuring the temperature of the shiny side, that gives me 35.1 degrees Celsius. Now the cube is very hot, so you just want to move around to the other side, but I'm going to turn it. You don't want to do this. Let's take a reading of the matte black side. Wow, that's a really big difference. Now we have a temperature of 83.8 degrees Celsius. That just goes to show that matte black surfaces are much better emitters of infrared than shiny surfaces. Now, there are a couple of other experiments that you can do to test the absorption of different surfaces as well. Now, what I have here is an infrared lamp. Most bulbs give out infrared, but these kind of lamps give out more infrared. What I have here are copper tubes with a bung in one end, and they are covered in different materials. We have a shiny material, we have a matte white material and a matte black material. What we can do is measure the temperature inside the copper tubes when we expose them to the infrared lamp. Just be sure that when you put a thermometer or a temperature probe in the tubes that you put some cotton wool around them because you don't want the thermometer to touch the sides. Another easy method is to use boiling tubes filled with tap water and they have different surfaces on them and a thermometer in a bung with the bulb in the water. As you can see, we have matte white, matte black and shiny surfaces. If we expose them to infrared radiation, we'll see their temperature increase. What you can do is record the temperature every minute for 10 minutes say and see what happens or you can just record their final temperatures after 5 or 10 minutes and compare their temperatures. Now what you'll find is that matte black is not only the best emitter of infrared radiation it's also the best absorber so it should have the highest temperature at the end. Shiny surfaces are not only poor emitters, but they're also poor absorbers, which is what you would expect because they reflect light very well and so they reflect infrared very well also. Matte white is somewhere in between. It's not the best, it's not the worst at either absorbing or emitting. However, that's why in a choice between a black t-shirt and a white t-shirt on a sunny day, it's the white t-shirt you want to go with because if you wore the black one, you'll absorb a lot more infrared radiation.